Mackie. It says, the night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. We just talked about casting off the works of darkness. How do you do it? Yep. Let us walk honestly as in the day and not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envy. Yes, God. so this is all, this is describing fleshly things, sensual things that we're supposed to disassociate ourselves with, therefore, so that we can become children, uh, of, the children of the day. Uh -huh. You know, so we can become children of the day and the Hawashai can be manifested more and more within us. Yeah, go right here. Verse 14, but put ye on the Lord, Yahawashai Hamashiach, and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. Yeah, God. So you're not supposed to fulfill the, the lust of the flesh. Because all things put on the Lord. Because all things flesh are going to be uh, burned up. <laughs> yep. uh, so so you put you put on the Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashah, and, and, and let uh and hide your life in Yahweh Shah Mashah is by not making provisions for the flesh. Right. So the night represents dead works. Uh-huh. You got it. The, the night represents dead works, uh -huh. works that we are to separate ourselves from, mm -hmm. knowing that our Lord is coming to snatch us up as vessels. He cannot take over vessels and regenerate us into new creatures without putting on the Lord first, which represents self-denial, yokes, and burdens, and abstinence, which shows if you are a child of the day, this is nice, guys. If you are a child of the day or of the night, children of the light have nutrients necessary unto growth for reaping in a time of harvest. Wow. That's nice. <laughs> that's nice. Straight angry, huh? Yeah, that's nice. That's the Holy Spirit, huh? That's why I can't even believe how old That's why I like it. That's why I left. Wait, here we go one more time, Bobby. Thank God. All right, so this is uh, Don DeMarco. Right. It says, the night represents dead works. Uh -huh or works that we are to separate ourselves from, uh -huh. knowing that Yahweh Shai is coming to snatch us up as vessels. Knowing that the high time, that not how time, high time, no way, gotta sleep. Mm -hmm. He cannot take over vessels and regenerate us into new creatures without putting on the Lord, which represents self-denial, yokes, burdens, and abstinence. Which shows if you are a child of the day or of the night, children of the light have the nutrients necessary unto growth for the time of reaping and harvest. That's not so good. Not so good. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. Yeah, I, I can't even add that to it. Yeah, it's too nice. Yeah, that was nice. Matthew 24, 50. That's very good. This Matthew. It's Matthew chapter 24. This Matthew chapter 24, verse 50. Uh -huh. The Lord. You put my nose right now, right? Let me put my nose. I'm yeah, saying. Uh, okay, nah. no, I'm just saying I know where I'm going. I'm just saying. Because I'm it's, it's starting at a point. It's like, hold on, where are you at? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, you okay, God. Nah. This Matthew 24 and 50. The Lord of that servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him. And an hour that he is not aware of. Okay, okay, yeah. This Matthew 24 and 50. Uh -huh. The Lord of that servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him, and an hour that he is not aware of. Right, so <clears throat> this happens because Yahweh Shai is slowly vetting us without our uh without us even uh realizing uh -huh. okay. no oh, bless this that servant who so bless this servant who is Lord when he comes up on it so do right so do right so he's vetting us you know and that's and, and, and wow. a lot of the element of of us not knowing is it, it, it's uh it jumps off of the page when you when you think about um when did I do these things? I just you know? thought about something too because okay you can think that he told me about that didn't care Okay, so you think that basically Yahweh Shai is going to literally physically come first, and he's going to he's going to literally physically come and find you doing the things that he's looking for? Well, we know that's not it, I, because the scripture talks about it in the Book of Revelation that you have to prepare the preparing the oh, minds yeah, of men 
So that a great king doesn't just show up. There's you have to lay things straight. You have to clear roads and paths first, which means that there's certain things that have to happen. You know. So he shows up in ways that you may not readily uh, recognize first. Nah, nah. So when, when they say, blessed is the servant whom the Lord shall find so doing, he gonna find you doing without you knowing that he done found you doing it. Right? He, you, he not gonna let you know that he's coming to find you doing something, man. Because if not, you're gonna be prepared. I mean, yeah. if, if then you can, you can be a hypocrite. You can act like you're doing right. what, what he wants you to do, but really you ain't about it. Right. You know what I'm saying? But if you're doing it, what we're really proves if you're about something, if you're doing it with nobody looking. Yeah. That's, yeah. And that's what your house is, is looking for. He want to see if you won't do it when you don't, you don't even know that I'm that I'm sucking with you or I'm, I'm examining you right that's now. That's right. That's right. Huh? That's right. Yeah. But if you go to trim your lamps at the 11th hour, you're too late. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you're too late. <laughs> but, Before but, is a point. Yeah, it's like I'm point. doing what you said, but you're supposed to been doing this though. Right. <laughs> um. And then Jehovah Shai, once he wants, what do you, what do you want to find you doing? He don't want to find you doing no videos, man. <laughs> I mean, that's cool. Or teaching on the corner. That's cool, but that's not what he's looking to find you doing. He's fine. He, he wants to. Uh, okay. Yeah, y'all was okay. Sorry, sorry. He, he wants to find you uh, uh, following his course of conduct and his manner of life. Right. That's what he wants you to be doing. Right. Exactly. Yeah, being a doer in that sense. Con, being meek, being lowly, being humble, being charitable, being faithful, being temperate. This is what he's looking for. Being disciplined. It's like be, being a doer of the word. Con. <laughs> be a doer of the word. Con. He don't want you to just be a hearer only. Con. You know? You don't or want a talker just... only. Right, right. And, and, and it's equivalent to being a hearer only if you uh if you hear if you hear what other people have said and just regurgitate it. Yeah. That's a hearer only. Con. All you're doing is hearing it. It's going in your ear. And then you regurgitate what you do. Be a doer. God, you're, 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 you're a speckled bird. <laughs> you're not a doer of the word. You're a speckled bird, man. <laughs> oh, parody. Parody. Uh, <laughs> parody. <laughs> you're out and you said, you're a speckled bird. You're not, you're not disabled. You're a parody. Speckled bird, I say what I heard. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, back in Matthew 24 and 50, um, you know, this happens because Yahweh Shai is slowly vetting us without us even knowing through our actions and interactions right. towards our neighbor. Yep. So, this is how he's, he's entering like a thief. He's seeing your interactions with your neighbor. Yep. And your brethren, uh -huh. and seeing and, and observing, uh, if you're truly fighting to be in the spirit and in the mind of the Lord, yeah. you know, and that's how you will be found out. That's how the thief will catch you off your game, you know, so to speak. Uh, Second uh, Thessalonians two. It's like you're in a situation where somebody's trying you, and uh, uh. And you can take the low, but instead you you let your pride pride be involved, and that's the situation where your house shines seen like, oh, okay, you're not striving for righteousness. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Yep. yep. Um, that's just an example. Second like. uh, Not saying that that's making you a man, uh, 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 identifying you as a wicked man, but it's identifying your house shines that you got wickedness in you. Right. Exactly. You said first this morning. Second this morning. Oh yeah, this is fucking. Or this old fashioned. I think I would have brought this out to you. We was going to over this on the phone about how like brother break this down, how to fix up, and then even talking about that. Second Thessalonians <laughs> 2 and verse 8 and then shall that wicked be revealed Woo! whom the Lord shall consume uh -huh. 
with the spirit of his mouth, the word became flesh, and shall destroy oh, with the man. brightness of his coming. He was talking about that earlier. Mm -hmm. So he's gonna destroy uh, wickedness with the with the with the uh, with the spirit of his mouth first and foremost. The spirit of his mouth, which means that he's not going to actually be speaking, but the spirit of his mouth shall be speaking. You know, which means he's going to show up. He's going to be here uh -huh. via the spirit of his mouth. <laughs> you know, that's a thief, right? A fire, uh, a fire came out of his mouth. They just talking about your house coming back on the terrace, activating uh, beings by his mouth. Yeah, yeah, right, right, and it, and it fell upon them. Right, right, right. Fire fell upon them. With fire. See, right. See these guys' doctrines for the first time. So the key of, so um, one of the key details that the uh, to this is that the wicked or the son of perdition is is going to be revealed. Mm -hmm. and the spirit of Yahweh Shai is either going to be identifying the righteousness within you uh -huh. or the wickedness within you. Yeah, exactly. So that's that son of perdition. Yep. It ain't going into like revealing Esau the so-called white man. All he's doing is being who he's supposed to be, right. whoever that may be. Right. You know what I'm saying? They're just being wicked at, as they ought to be. Yeah, God. Huh? You know what They're, I mean? Yeah, how was that just made made it me and all? Right. You know, Earth is given into the hands of the wicked. We understand that. What well, the scripture say? There is no secret that should be hid that should not be made abroad. Yep. <laughs> yep. You know, yep. that should not be uh, made come abroad. Right. So this is about. One, one way in which, well, a main way in which Yahweh Shai is going to show back up on the scene is that more of, the, you know, the sons of perdition are going to be being uh, revealed more and more. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's going to be more and more righteous individuals being made righteous. Right. And that's going to go undetected. Right. Um, uh, Second Thessalonians 2 and 4. Yeah. So opposes Second Thessalonians two and four, and says, "Who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called the Most High, uh -huh. or that is three, huh? Second Thessalonians two and three. Let no man deceive you by any means. Uh -huh. <laughs> by any means, not by vain deceit, philosophy, rudiments of the world. Yep. You know, that day shall not come. That day shall not come. The day of the Lord, which is, which is talking about." What we're talking today, the Lord is when the Lord, <laughs> when the Lord comes as a thief. Right. It ain't right. talking about when the day, when 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 chariots come in the sky and missiles are going off and Leviathan is walking around. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. The day of the Lord is is it, it can be different for every person. Your day could be the day of the Lord. Yep. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. 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 Exactly. It, it could be the day of the Lord for you. Right. Well, the scripture tells you that. It says for today that the, the Most High requires your spirit. Oh. Today, you, you fool. Today, oh, wow. the Most High yeah, requires today, your spirit. Yeah, well, that's fire, right? So that's the day of the yeah, Lord God. for you. <laughs> well, what do you would desire the day of the Lord for what end is it for you? You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Because you don't know what the day of the Lord is going to identify in you. Yeah, what it's going to be for you. Yeah, God, huh? You know, what? what is that going to entail for, for a spirit <laughs> for like yours? For you. Right, right. For you. <laughs> the day of the Lord is not the same for everybody, huh? Right. Right. That's that's another doctrine that's fucking uh, off. Huh? Yeah, that that is true. Huh? <laughs> like that the day of the Lord is just one big one day, day of destruction. Yeah. No, that's not it. Huh? No. Most high school brings brings uh, things today a day by day, and plus he chastens people little by little. Oh, we're killed all the day long. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. I just right. thought about that. Huh? So so and we understand that the days are not the same with the heavenly Father. Oh, your God. One day with the Lord is just a thousand years, and a thousand years is one day. <laughs> right. God. So judgment day could, could be happening day by day. God, I, you know? just think about how simple that is. I just really thought about how to think the day of the Lord is just one, one big day. day where missiles are going off, the Viatin is walking around. Stupid. That's sick. That's that's crazy, huh? Yeah, the most high is that's high. like little kid shit. <laughs> it's gonna be one great day. <laughs> one great day. No, man. Uh, and that's beautiful because the heavenly Father knows every spirit. Mm -hmm. That's why you know, find it. <laughs> I, I know what I know what day what day you every need for things uh, in due season. Yeah, guys, like it. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, you could trust it. No, no, you good. You good. Yeah. It says, uh, uh -huh. verse four. Uh -huh. It says, "Who opposeth and exalteth himself 
That's a lock, yeah, I didn't read the rest of you guys. This, uh, Second Thessalonians 2 and 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away. And, and we, already, we already had a falling away, y'all. Yeah, we did. We already had a falling away, so you can't, there's no way that you can uh, deceive that you should be deceived into believing that the day of the Lord cannot possibly be upon you already. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, we did. It's, it's been apostasy going on for a long time. God. <laughs> so you can't think like there's going to be an apostasy on such a great level right now. No, right. no. Apostasy is already <laughs> happening. Apostasy is damn near played up. Yeah. <laughs> you know right. what I'm saying? Right. What the hell are you thinking about that for? Right. So, the, so the, that's why the scripture says the, the night is far spent. Because nah, exactly. people have been in apostasy hey, for a long time. Brother, yeah. You know what I mean? Nah. So that's why Lord Yahweh Shai, him coming and being upon us now is not so far fetched, man. You know? Him being upon us and coming now. See, it's the truth. Now. It's the truth. Right. It's not even far fetched. It's the truth. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, how about you, my son? Lord willing, be our witness. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I feel confident with Yeah, you, I, I do too. I do too. It says, uh, the falling away first and that man of sin be revealed you see? the son of perdition yep. so the son of perdition has to be uh, per revealed uh -huh. which is being revealed more and more to the coming of the of of, uh, of, of Lord Yahweh Shai actually appearing and, and then see, so you got a breakdown out there that there's two sons of perdition which no there's one son of perdition man mm -hmm. that's Judas Iscariot those who betray Yahweh Shai Masah those who who do who refuse to deny themselves, man, right, right. And, and their pleasure. Anti, anti Amashia. Anti Amashia. That's the son of produce, perdition. Yep. Not no Esau, man. Yep. The son of perdition is is wicked Israelites who betray our Lord Yahweh Yeah. Yep. That's right. That's right. So, no, no, try to include Esau in this, man. Yep. Yep. And the son of perdition has been revealed. God. And and and, and people that operate in the spirit of uh, Judas. Uh huh. Are uh, sons of perdition. God. Huh? So that's the son of perdition has been. Revealed. Yeah, yeah. those who are adversarial to the uh, knowledge of our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach, right. and, and righteousness being established on earth. Huh. Verse four: Who opposes and exalteth himself? You see, <laughs> above all that is called the Most High. You see, uh, yeah, it's not talking about Esau, bro. No, it's not. It's not. Uh, it says, um, who opposes and exalted himself above all that is called the Most High. So, it, 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 okay, you got it out. Yeah, they they, they oppose and exalt themselves above all that is called uh, the Most High because. Mm -hmm. Lord Yahweh Shai was, an, was an, uh, a representative of the Heavenly Father on earth. So if you oppose him, you're opposing the Most High. Um, it says, uh, or that is. Oppose him or his knowledge yep. or anything he stood for. Yep. You know, it's like, yeah. It says, uh, so that he, as the Most High, sitteth in the temple of the Most High. <laughs> and only sons of God sit in the temples. Sons of God sit in the temple. Come on, that's fire, right? Huh? Yeah, sons of God sit in the temple. So he asked God, and, and notice, notice that a lot of these guys won't reverence and respect as leaders in the high ranking authority. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's like pr pr pretty much pretty yeah. 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 Our men, our people have God. They, they did the main rules with it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they they walk around here all day say, I am God. That's why uh the scripture says, uh, lest he put forth his hand and be like us. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, you could you, you could be entrenched in wickedness and then want to add immortality to it. You know, I want to be uh, entrenched in wickedness and add immortality. Yeah, yeah God, uh, yeah, that's sick. <laughs> and it says, um, so that he is as the Most High, sit up in the temple of the Most High, showing himself that he is the Most High. You know? Basically, proclaiming himself to be a servant of Yahweh Hashem Nasah, but not embodying nothing that Yahweh Hashem Nasah stand for. Yep. And that's being exposed. You go, you go. That's being exposed day by day. You know that by Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. So like, yep. By Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, and the spirit of his mouth is exposing that. Yep. You know, and that means that he's upon us right now. Yep. And he's uh, and he's uh, he's a thief. Yep. You know, and he's a thief that has come upon you and broken into your house as we speak. Yep. Um, Second Thessalonians four, verse ten. Oh yeah. Uh, well, okay. Tell him, tell him, out. Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. And now ye know that uh, what withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time. It says, for the mystery of iniquity doth already work. You see? It's already working. <laughs> the mystery of iniquity. Right. <laughs> right. Already work. Well, Only the mystery of iniquity is not Esau. But Job been told you 
thousands of years ago, like years ago, he was dwelling in caves. Yep. And he didn't want to leave him around his dogs. That's right. not a mystery. That's man. not a mystery. <laughs> That's not no mystery, man. Joe so been told you that. It's not a mystery. His Thousands wickedness is not a, is not a mystery. God. You know, things that he's done has been laid laid open. He's been made bare. I have made Esau bare. Yeah. Um, and that's not right now. He's been made bare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's been, he's been made bare a long, a long time ago. He's a murderer of his brother. God. You know, his wickedness has been on full display. Look what he represents. He built this country off of slavery. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not he, a big thing to reveal. That's not a mystery, bro. Right. Verse 7, for the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now let it will let until he be taken out of the way. And that's the most high Yahweh. Why? Because the most high Yahweh has a will. He has a will that has to be done. So he has to have those who are opposed and adversarial unto Yahweh Shah Mashiach for Yahweh Shah to uh, uh, basically be established. He has set two works against another. You know? Verse. So, but but Yahweh Shai, once um, Yahweh Shai is uh, redeemed all the precious fruit from the earth, it's not going to be any more need for uh, for the mystery of for iniquity. Once once Yahweh Shai Mashiach has uh, brought forth all the precious fruit in the earth, there's no more need for iniquity. And that's what Yahweh Shai Mashiach is doing right now. He's gathering all the precious fruit of the earth. Yep. And the precious fruit of the earth represent those who are walking with their righteousness and uh, embodying the course of conduct in the manner of life of our Lord, Yahweh Yep, yep. Verse eight, and then shall that wicked be revealed. And then shall that wicked be revealed. When the mystery of iniquity, the, uh, when, when, when Yahweh Shem Yahweh when he lets who, once, once uh, Yahweh Shem Yahweh will is accomplished, then all the wicked and the righteous will be revealed. That's right. Whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth uh -huh. shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Yeah, with the brightness of his coming and with the spirit of his mouth. Basically going to be identified as uh, as, 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 as a, a man of iniquity or you're going to be identified as a man of righteousness. Mm -hmm. Even him whose coming is after the working, even whose coming is after the working of Satan, with and, all power and signs in line one. And what is and signs in line one? We, we, went, we went into how men are signs. Because mm -hmm. sign goes into a mark. And a mark, you can mark mark the perfect man. A man could be marked. Read a piece of woman's about like Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan. And your coming could be after the working of Satan. Why? Because you're walking after the course of conduct in a manner of life of Satan. You know? so Satan is working in you. Oh, oh, oh children, children of the devil. Yep. Child of the devil. Yep. Yeah, he, and he's working with thee, which makes you a child of the devil. God, huh? yep. you know. God. It says, uh, working of Satan with all power of, and signs of lying wonders. And it says you in uh, uh, and signs and lying wonders, which we know that signs can be men and they can be and, and wonders. We want to say wonders. Okay. That's what's up, man. But signs and wonders can be can come through men of anomaly. You know what I'm saying? It'll come through a series of events that come uh, come by men. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, so those 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 that coming after the workings of Satan and lying wonders, 2 Corinthians 11 and 14, be not deceived. Even Satan was transformed into an angel of light. So Satan can even transform himself into the angel of light. You got even you got men out here who can be likened unto Yahweh Shai's service, but really they represent the workers of Satan. And, and Yahweh Shai Mashiach's uh, brightness reveals that. The scripture tells you that uh, all, all wickedness will come to light. You know, it tells you that in the scripture. You know, that's all gonna come to light. Everything done in the dark shall come to light. Yep. And that's going in your wicked works. Yep. Being revealed by Yahweh Shot. Uh, it says, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness. So that could be an unrighteousness that makes you deceivable. It's deceiving. You know? It yeah, seems like there's a righteousness that it seems like they have righteousness, but it's not really righteousness. That, it's deceiving. That's an exquisite subtlety. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's a exquisite that means a perfected deception out here. Exquisite subtlety goes into perfected deception. Uh, it says, in them that perish. <laughs> in them that perish. Yeah, yeah. And it says, because they receive not the love of the truth, uh -huh. that they might be saved. You see? Mm -hmm. You 
see what it's all yep, about? Yep, yep. Huh, so the, 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 the day of the Lord, or Yahweh Shai coming as a thief, is uh, is happening day by day. You know, in, in which he's revealing men, and men are being taken out of the way and rooted up right. day by day. You know, and moved out of the way day yeah, by day. Exactly. You know, because the Most High, that's how the Most High, if you want to say he's a man of war, that's how he, he yeah. accomplishes his purposes. He, he, he chastens men little by little, uh -huh. and then he moves men out of the way yeah. little by little. Yep. Um, and, and that's how structures fall, too, by men who maintain works of righteousness, mm -hmm. not by chanting it down. I, I got that homework on here. Listen, you know, <laughs> get out of here. Second Thessalonians two and four and ten. Um, it says um, <laughs> so this is commentary on what we just read. On what we just read, uh -huh. it says it can be used uh, to further elaborate on this point being the end when men of un with, with men of righteousness are exalted and their righteousness springs up and men of iniquity are revealed by the spirit of truth which represents Yahweh Shai's majesty. On the, on the uh, what, we, what we were bringing out, uh -huh. this can be used uh, to further elaborate on this point. Being the end, when men of righteousness are exalted, and their uh, righteousness springs up, and men of iniquity are revealed by the Spirit of Truth, which represents Yahweh Shai's majesty. Wow. That's this, this Matthew chapter eleven and verse twenty-five. At that time, Yahweh Shai answered and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent and has revealed them unto babes. Right, so Yahweh Shai hides in babes, you know, those lightly esteemed, mm -hmm. who you wouldn't expect, mm -hmm. who, uh, who have the way of righteousness and peace revealed in them. Yep. Those who are wise and prudent, you know, they are revealed to them. You know, not to be puffed up by knowledge, which shows pride and rebellion towards Yahweh Shimei Shai, which reveals that men love power and position more than Yahweh Yahweh Shai. And that's why Yahweh Shimei Shai only reveals certain things to pay, because they're not going to uh, be emboldened in pride and get puffed up off of the things that's revealed unto them. You know, anybody who gets puffed up or uh, puffed up off of the knowledge that they have or uses the knowledge that they have as a uh, as a piece of arrogance or, 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 or cockiness or to propel them in a position of authority, then you know that, that, that that's a sign of wickedness and iniquity. That's right. You know? That's right. And Yahweh is making that known in them so that you can uh, mark them and avoid them. Here, huh? nah, I got you. Uh, 
Luke. This is Luke 2 and 34. And Simeon blessed them and said unto Mary his mother, Behold, this child is set for the fall and rising again of many in Israel. The fall and the rising again of many in Israel. Let's talk about right now. Let's talk about right now. Because uh, a righteous man follows seven times, but he get him back up. You know what I'm saying? So the righteous are not going to fall. But who is going to fall into perdition? Those who don't have the knowledge of Yahweh Shah, my shepherd, saying it's the first Peter or the first shepherd. You know what I'm saying? Because it told you that uh, if you do these things, you should never be buried in the knowledge of a my shepherd. And you can make your calling and make sure, uh, sure so that you won't fall. So uh, those who are not going to fall are, are going to be the ones who lay hold unto the knowledge of a my shepherd. Those who are going to fall are, are the ones who don't lay hold unto the knowledge of Yahweh Shah, my shepherd, which is happening right now. And it says, and for the sign which shall be spoken against. And, and the sign that shall be spoken against. Yeah. Basically. Okay. Well, yeah, I wish I was talking about uh, when you shall see the abomination of desolation. Oh, that's a fire precept. You know, when you shall see the fire, the uh, the, the abomination of desolation uh -huh. standing in the in the holy place. Uh -huh. You know that? And, that? and that ain't even just going fully into the Jerusalem besieged. Because Jerusalem, Jerusalem has been besieged by iniquity. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And yeah. evil and wicked. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Yea, a sword oh, shall. What's that part say about the sign? Oh, you better keep up there now. Yea, a sword shall pierce through thy own soul also. Uh huh. That the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. You know what that is? Hebrews four and twelve. The word of the Lord. The word. Get that real quick. Hebrews yeah. four and twelve. Yeah. That's a beautiful point you just made about <laughs> Jerusalem has already been besieged by wickedness. You know, because people be thinking, oh. Edo's done came in right. and besieged the temple. 70 AD. It was already yeah, besieged. God, God. Wickedness was already standing that, in the holy yeah. place. That's the abomination of the abominations in the sanctuary. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, get uh, Hebrews 4 and 12. Uh, Hebrews 4 and 12. Hebrews 4 and 12. Hebrews 4 and 12. Hebrews 4 and 12. Hebrews 4 and verse 12. Uh -huh. For the word of the Most High is quick and powerful. Uh -huh. <laughs> if we went into the word being made of uh, flesh and fire, mm -hmm. the word could be likened unto uh, the word was made flesh and the word is likened unto fire. Yes, yes. And it's quickening. Yeah, and it's and, and it's alive. Yeah. And it's powerful. Yeah. So, like you were saying, this is how the most high is a man of war. Uh -huh. You know? So, like, so the word of the most high is quick and powerful. And sharper than any two-edged sword, uh -huh. piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit. Now go back to that Luke uh, uh, Oh, no, that, I got you. <laughs> it's lucky, y'all. Okay, God. It's lucky. No, you know that's lucky. No, I got it. Says, I'm, I'm it, it, uh, it says, piercing even to dividing asunder of soul and spirit, uh -huh. and the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. So it's separating the spiritual mm -hmm. from the carnal. Mm -hmm. The separating of soul <laughs> and spirit. And the intents of the heart, too. Yeah. yeah. And mind what I, what I got. It, it says, joints and marrow. <laughs> and look what I got for the uh, commentary on the yeah, outside spirit identifies the reins and hearts of men and bases of their souls. Mm. The, the intents of men. Right. You know uh, what I'm saying? Uh, that. Yeah, that's nice. So the Heavenly Father is separating spirit from the carnal. Right, exactly. You know, yeah, that's, that's what that's quantifying the unquantifiable. Yep. Like yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. So like you had some more on that your point out. Like, no, no, I just wanted to make bring out that point because it said because I never really uh, thoroughly under uh, went into that uh, how the, the joints in the marrow and it's a divide it's a divider of soul and spirit. Like it separates carnality from the spiritual. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's and that's that's how they yeah, how Ashai is coming. He's coming to separate carnality from the spirit. Yeah, go back to that. Uh, this is Luke 2. Luke 2 in verse 35. It reads, Yay, the a sword, it says, Yea, a sword shall pierce through thy own soul also. You see? That the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. You see? Yeah. That's, that's nice. fire, right? So that, that's that's the sword that Yahweh Sai sent is piercing uh, through people's hearts. Mm. You know what I'm saying? The mm. word the word of Yahweh. Yeah. And it's and it's dissecting and it's separating and setting apart. Yeah. You know? 
<laughs> Which the it word says I come to flesh. It okay. says I come to uh, uh, the sin of sword. You know, oh, I come to sin sword. Oh, I come to bring uh, uh, a sword, not. Yeah, right. look at it. yeah, that's sword, man. And what do you do with swords? <laughs> this loop. And see, that's broken down that he's just going to come with the sword like the chariots and the, and the laser beams. Right, and with destruction and uh, destroying uh, people. No, he's no. He's coming with the sword to pierce you in your heart and find out the intentions of it. Right, <laughs> and the and the reins of your soul. Yeah, because the the Lord, the word of the Lord is sharpened into it, it into as time, I, I this, come to send a sword, and he is the word. Right, <laughs> your fire rod. Right. Here you go right here. This is a uh, oh, mm. this 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 Luke twelve and forty nine. Mm -hmm. I am come to send fire on the earth. And what will I if it be already kindled? That's not even the one. Mm. Yeah, coming to send season. fire upon the earth. And and, and, and he, we already know that he's coming to send fire upon the earth. Man. We're going into the whole shop. Right, right, Khan. Yeah, we've been talking about that. You know what I'm saying? Burning heat. Right. Um, oh, we want that sword. We want that sword. Oh, I can't. I'll start bringing sword. I'll the sword. The sword. At least I thought it was better. But he said, he said, I come, he come, I come to bring a fire upon the earth, and what will I be already kindled? So, and, and, and the fire that he's bringing upon the earth, <laughs> he, he's kindling within me. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. He's like basically a nuclear fire. What, 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 what's the point? What's the point of me coming if the nuclear fire is gonna do? Yeah, that's that's kind of crazy. I, that's, that's what it was always, always, I always thought that too. Yeah. Brother what's broke the point that of now? What's up? If, if, yeah, if Nuke's gonna do yeah, everything, if Nuke's gonna do everything. That's why the fire that that, that the Lord Yahweh Shai is coming with. Mm -hmm. That's the fire. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Nuke's Nuke's ain't nothing compared to the fire that he finna come. Bro, with. Uh, Matthew ten and thirty four. Oh, there, this is love. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I come not to send peace. But a sword. And he, and, 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 and Yahweh Shai does come to bring peace. Don't get it misconstrued. <laughs> Don't yeah. get it misconstrued. He's saying I'm not, and there's no peace to the wicked. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. I ain't come, I ain't come to bring no peace. This this ain't finna be a joint hand in hand with the wicked thing right. going on exactly. out here. Exactly. You know exactly. what I'm saying? But exactly. I ain't come to bring peace for everybody, even the wicked, which these wicked people on earth think. Right. right. A lot of people right. think that's how Jesus is. He's gonna come to just bring salvation to the wicked right. and the righteous, man. No. No. You know? No, he ain't come to do that. He, he come to separate the wicked from the righteous to establish a kingdom for the righteous. Exactly. Exactly. Um, but it don't mean he, he don't want peace, though. <laughs> right, right. He's the prince of peace. So what the hell are you talking about? He, he, he definitely had to come to bring peace if he's the prince of peace. Yep. He, he said, I'm not bringing peace to no wicked. Right, right. Right. And that's why he's coming as a thief. Because huh. a thief doesn't come with peace <laughs> in the sense of coming with for a peaceful purpose. Yeah, God. Uh, yeah, that's you fire. Know? Yeah. You know? God. Luke 2 and 35. Yea, a sword shall pierce through thy own soul also, that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. Huh. You know, so that's that sword coming to reveal hearts. Mm -hmm. You know? Yep. Um, Proverbs 6 and 30. Huh. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> you see to bring out the brother love in you. <laughs> see the You're afraid that your flight be not in the winter. Why? Because you're going to have to show some brotherly love. Huddle <laughs> together. Gather together when they should do this. This is make you stop fighting. <laughs> Well, so I said, send some cold this afternoon. Gather together, old nation, not this afternoon. Hold it together. Oh, man, no. this, uh, this proverb 6 and 30. Men do not despise a thief if he steals to satisfy his soul when he is hungry. Mm -hmm. You good, brother? Yeah, so Yahweh Shai. You good, brother? You good? You good, brother? So Yahweh Shai is the, is, the, is, the, is the thief that's... Uh, that's that's uh, stealing to sat satisfy uh, his soul uh -huh. and bring forth precious, uh, precious fruit to the earth, uh -huh. or put away evil from the world, which satisfies his soul, uh -huh. and it also satisfies his soul to uh, gather unto himself righteousness, mm -hmm. to, uh, to bring forth more righteousness. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So, so you have a size that thief who's uh -huh. stealing to satisfy his soul by either putting away wickedness or gathering the righteous together. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
Proverbs 6 and 30, men do not despise a thief if he steals to satisfy his soul when he is hungry. Yeah. Like that. So so yeah, how he he'll endorse it how it's not being a thief. Yep. Like you gotta go steal from them guys, man. Because yep. because scripture says you can't be a thief. But there, there, there's an excuse for a thief though, huh? Yes, there if, is. If, if, if a thief is stealing because he's hungry, you're supposed to leave him alone. Yes, you are. How is a thief? Because he's hungry. Yes, <laughs> what yes. is he hungry for? Righteousness and iniquity be put away. That's right. But, well, the scripture says, uh, blessed are those that hunger and thirst for righteousness. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> he's hungry oh and thirsty for righteousness. Oh, my God. Perfect precept, bud. Uh. Yeah, so he's nah. hungry and thirsting for righteousness, nah. and that thief cannot be despised. Yeah, that's fine. This uh Matthew This is Matthew Matthew This is Matthew This is Matthew This is Matthew This is <laughs> this oh is fire too huh? This Matthew chapter 26 and 55 and that same hour said Yahweh side to the multitudes are ye come out against a thief with swords and staffs for to take me I sat daily with you teaching in the temple and ye laid no hand hold on me yeah so these men they knew Yahweh Shai was a good thief you know he was a good thief he good. was the honorable thief among thieves yeah you know fire because um, they came out after him as a thief. Yeah. Yep. Um, so, they knew, so they knew he was a thief. They knew he thief. was a thief, right. right. <laughs> he was coming to, 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 to disrupt. Yeah, kind of, he, he was know. coming away to uh, destroy uh, iniquity and wickedness. Yep. And they wanted to uphold, but they wanted iniquity and wickedness to still have a, uh, a stronghold or still have a place. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He stole away the power from wickedness. Yeah, God. He stole power away. You know? Oh yeah. Oh, just like when we brought out a couple camps ago with uh, Simon the sorcerer. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yep. yep. He, he took uh, the, the disciples who was teaching the name of Yahweh Shai. They took away his power that quick. He yeah. was like, man, I want what y'all got. Yeah. The scriptures tell you, tell us that they wouldn't have, uh, they wouldn't have put to death the, the, uh, the, our Savior. Mm -hmm. You know, had it's okay. So they said they wouldn't have put, it, put him to death had they known what they were doing. Right. They wouldn't have done it. Right. Because in, actual, in actuality, he was being a thief unto them. Right. He was Ooh, taking was away fire. their power. Yeah, that's nice. You know? He was, he was subduing them and taking and stripping yes. them of power. That's fire. And they didn't know it. They didn't realize that he was stripping them of power. You know? That's, yeah, that's a great point. And just like people now, they don't realize that Yahweh Shai is operating within us and we're stripping this kingdom of power, mm. you like know, it, I... through obedience, yeah, through it's, obedience it's, it's, right. and, and, and servitude. Yep, <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's beautiful, brother. You know, um, this is Saint John Tennessee. Oh, this fire one too. Huh? <laughs> Another commonly broke down commentary. Okay, so, uh, but um, so these men, they they knew Yahweh Shai was a good thief. A thief that can put away evil <laughs> and filthy lucre and reproof after the Sabbath. <laughs> put away evil and filthy lucre and reproof after the sight of the eyes. That's why he came after him with swords. That's why they came after him with swords and staves. God. Putting away wickedness. Damn, I could just. Oh, right, let me get this real quick. Okay. Let me get this out. Right. I don't know if you got it. So okay. Let me see. Let me get this real quick. Right. I know you went crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Eddie, you didn't even send me your part. Yeah, I know it's going wild, though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's going wild. Yes, sir. And I'm looking, I'm like, if my eyes going wild like this, I can just imagine the crowd. <laughs> All right. All right, let me start. All right, let me start. All right. I'm gonna get four, five, five. This, this Isaiah 11 and 1 And there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse And a branch shall grow out of his roots And Bro, it's not no tree of Jesse Where, where the hell is the tree of Jesse at? It's not here It's, it's, it's not here It's here, it's here It says, and the spirit of the Lord Yehovah Shem Yahushua shall rest upon him the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shad. 
and shall make him of quick understanding in the fear of the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shai, and he shall not judge at the sight of his eyes, neither reprove after the hearing of his ears. For with righteousness shall he judge the poor and reprove with equity for the meek of the earth. And he shall smite the earth with the rod of his mouth and with the breath of his lips shall he slay the wicked. And righteousness shall be his, the girdle of his loins and faithfulness the girdle of his reins. <laughs> God, so you see how uh, Yahweh Shai hides in men. He hides in men, those, those men who have the spirit of counsel and might, those men who have the spirit of wisdom and understanding, those men who have the knowledge and fear of the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shai, those men who judge not after the sight of their eyes or approve after the hearing of their ears, or those men who have quick understandings. You know what I'm saying? These are those who uh, judge the poor, judge for the poor, and approve with equity for the meek, for the meek. You know what I'm saying? These, this represents uh, these represent men of righteousness, uh, uh, and it, 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 uh, in Yahweh Shai, basically, mm -hmm. it, 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 it represents Yahweh Shai hiding in men yeah. when men have these type of characteristics, and also when they do these type of things, they they, they destroy the fabric of, of wicked men. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So this is also Yahweh Shai hiding in, in 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 all men. You know what I'm saying? Because it's destroying uh, iniquity in, in wicked men, and it's also identifying. Uh, righteousness and, and righteous men, and also putting that vibration out in the earth to this, uh, to be to uh, make an adversary to those fundamentals and principles of this current earth. Yep, yep. And he's and he's coming with a sword. God, I'm, he's separating God and dividing you know <laughs> fleshly from the uh from the uh from the spiritual. Yep. So you read that uh, that commentary on the last one more time. Yeah. Yeah. The one. Yeah. This one right these men knew Yahweh Shai was a thief, a good thief though, who can put away evil and filthy lucre and reprove after uh, uh, reprove after not after the sight of the eyes. That's why he came after him with swords and staves. But see now, now, now if you peek, now notice that these these uh, high chief priests and these elders and these scribes, they knew the book of Isaiah like the best of their hand. So they knew. That it was going to be a savior, uh, a, 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 a branch that was going to grow out of the root of Jesse, that was going to not reprove after the sight of their eyes and put away filthy lucre. But they couldn't even see that Yahweh Shai was right there in their face. Yeah, God, no. God, no. But they knew, they knew the prophecy in Isaiah 11, though. But it still came as a yeah, thief. Yeah, God, no. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. Still came as a thief, and God. they knew it. God, no. And they were familiar with the text. Yeah. You know? They probably, they probably they probably can tell you that 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 that, that, that what we just read by the back of their hands. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Also, a branch gonna come out of Jesse. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the wolf is gonna feed with the leopard. Yeah, yeah. Righteousness is gonna be his girdle, but righteousness is the girdle, the girdle, girdle of the man right in front of you who you're trying to come up with staves again. Yeah. Not knowing that this thief has identified you as men of iniquity and wickedness, an yeah. example of whom you should not fall. An mm. example of those who not won't be a branch that came out of uh, out of, out of, out of the root of Jesse. Mm -hmm. Alright, right, this Saint John chapter 10 and verse 10. It says, The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. Right, so there's two types of thieves. You know, there's a thief, Yahweh Shai is the thief that brings life. And then there's the adversary that is a thief. All about killing, destroying. Right, that tries to take away life. <laughs> yeah, they're not, they're not, they're, they're, uh, their righteousness is, uh, the righteousness is sown in us. Mm -hmm. So there's a thief that tries to destroy, mm -hmm. you know, and that, that, uh, that thief that tries to destroy is trying to undo all the, the work that Yahweh Shai has put forth. You know, and then there's the the righteous thief that comes to that comes to uh, impart things within you. You know, that comes to impart things and then take away right. the undesirable uh -huh. things. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
going praise us too. Yeah, how will by Shem, Yahweh Shah, yeah, by Shem Rakakwadash. Peace to the nation of Salaki, to the children of God. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Shalom. Shalom.